Hi everyone, this is Yashika from Yashika's Intuition and I am here to quickly talk to you about this new moon in Leo that we have coming up at approximately 10 40 something p.m. on August 18th, 2020. This is going to be a powerful new moon and this is a piece of astrology that I think that a lot of us have been waiting on for a very long time and so I wanted to come on and talk to you today about how this energy is going to benefit our lives. I really like astrology in particular is because if you look at the astral bodies such as the sun, the moon, the planets at a specific time in life, be that your own personal life or an event, you are able to have information at your fingertips to help you understand more about the energies that are going on, the circumstances that you're going through, as well as your own personal life. A natal chart is not one of those pre-populated charts where you plug in your time and your date of birth and you get this generic computer generated report. It is a report if you pick the right astrologer where you are able to have someone that has the experience to look at all of the different angles and aspects of planets and give you their intuitive information and guidance in order for you to understand more about why you are the way you are, your life purpose, your relationships, and more. So without further ado, let's get into this reading for this new moon in Leo, August 2020. So the first thing that I see is that if you include the North Node that's up in Sagittarius, with the energies that are going on right now, you have a fire trine. So it means that you have some powerful astrological energy available to you. And this energy is going to be creative and passionate energy. And it's energy that's to me connected to moving forward in your purpose, your truth, your spirituality, and more. And it's not just about knowing your truth. It's about developing your own philosophy for your life by assimilating those truths that you have learned and live them. So this is about walking your talk so that you gain wisdom from which you grow, mature, evolve, and learn how to master your true self. And I feel like this is powerful and it's transformative if you let it. And it's not to say that fire can't be anger or discouragement or anything like that, but I like to think that what I'm seeing is very powerful and very transformative. In the previous weeks, I felt like Mars was not playing well with our emotions and it could have been making you prone to emotional outbursts or saying the wrong thing at the wrong time or just kind of impulsively erupting. But I feel like now Mars is starting to play well right before it's retrograde. And I think that this is a good time to act on some strong feelings. But I do think, of course, you still have to be mature and responsible when you do that with The powerfully positive energy here, I feel like it is easier for you to get your needs met versus the previous energies that I've talked to you guys about in the past few months, as well as some of the months that are upcoming for the rest of 2020. This is most definitely a time to be assertive and to go for something that you feel really passionately about. And I feel like whatever it is, is going to be deeply and personally important to you, but it is a better time to put yourself out there than other times in the most recent past. So please take advantage of this opportunity. Not only is Mars playing well with the moon, Mars is also playing well with the sun, which means that our creativity is on high. And I teach my clients that creation is not about art or paintings, or music, because people hear the word creativity and think that they're not creative. Creation is combining your inner intentions with the divine power of the universe to get whatever it is that you desire for your life. And this is a good time for that. We have a tap to energy and vitality that we did not have before. And we also have a closer connection to our inner self and our heart. The energy of the conscious and the subconscious are coming together in order to create favorable, harmonious support for us to take charge in relation to something that is important to us. And not only that, Mars is also playing well with Mercury. 
So your mind is working well. Maybe previously it felt like the lines were blurred and that impeded your clarity and it caused confusion. But I feel like this is an instant where you can think more clearly. And I think this is so because the fire energy is helping to illuminate more of what is going on in our hearts and in our soul. A lot of times in society and in life, we've been taught to lead with our mind. And when you do that, you are giving your power away to something that should not be leading your life. It should be used more as a tool or like I like to teach your second in command to help you move your heart desires forward. Your mind cannot accurately guide you forward without being connected to your heart. And I feel like with this particular energy of this new moon, we are tapped into our heart and our desires. And that's because we are able to assimilate information clearly, see the subconscious and the conscious, take all that vitality and go after something that is in our heart desires and take more informed risks and think more quickly. We also have confidence in ourselves and we can articulate all of what's going on in a way that makes what we are doing and what we are saying more receptive to others. Now, as much as I'm being super positive because this is a very powerful and transformative energy, there are some lingering issues that may be apparent in your life and I do want to go over those. So if you feel like you have your own agenda or you feel like you are someone that lets your mind run a mile a minute or overthink something or talk yourself out of something that you know that you feel in your heart and soul instead of dropping into your heart space and living from there, What you may feel is a sensation of being blocked or being frustrated. As you can see, this energy is big on flow. It's the flow of the conscious and the subconscious, the flow of the heart and the mind. And if you don't feel this flow, it can feel like your desires don't match up with what you are experiencing. Or maybe you feel confused, even though you have all of this information available to you, And maybe you just feel like you don't know what to do or like too much is going on or you feel scared or you feel overwhelmed. Or like I said, maybe you thought things were moving forward and they stop or you feel like you're not making the headway that you would like to make. Or you could just be in an environment or situation where you don't feel safe being your true self just yet. Or you are not living as your true authentic self and you're living for everything and everyone else. And what this does is just induce more stress, uncomfortability, all sorts of what we perceive to be negative feelings or negative outcomes. And if this is so, you're going to have to be particularly patient with yourself. Sometimes the best thing to do in these instances is just step back and channel your frustration into something else like physical activity, or I also see this being a good time for feminine manifestation rituals or creative endeavors. Even sex or playing with children can help you shift this energy. And while I'm speaking of children, I did see positive energy around breakthroughs. If you are somebody that wants to try and get pregnant, this is a good time and energy to move forward in those endeavors. The other more important thing that you will have to do is to connect to your inner self, your authentic, unique self, where you are brave and bold and confident in who you are, and you are able to lead from your heart with intent and purpose. This is why there's this underlying frustration and tension that you may be feeling, even though I'm talking about very positive and very powerful energy. All this is just boiling down to is how you take action and how you take charge of your desires and your inner powers and how you connect to the divine to actually go after what you want. This is a true test of what you are spending your time and energy on and whether you are ambitious about the things that you say are important to you versus the things that you feel are important to you. Let's say this again. This is the true test of what you are spending your time and energy on and whether you are ambitious about the things that are important to you versus the things 
you feel are important to you. And we can even say the things that you think are important to you versus the things that you feel are important to you. And if those two things are different, that's where your attention is. All right. (laughs) So that was some of the big tense energy that I wanted to bring up. And then there's also Mars making some tense energy with Pluto as well. And this points to power struggles between yourself and your conditioning first and foremost. Perhaps you have limiting beliefs or struggles on things that you think are limiting you from an external standpoint, like you feel like your spouse or your partner is limiting you, your kids, your job, your finances. All of those things are what you are projecting to be something that you are up against in order to create something powerful for yourself or in order to make the transformation that you desire to make. However, most of the time, what limits you is your mindset and the choices that you make because of your mindset. Oftentimes, you can tend to take your frustrations out on others and external factors instead of confronting the true source of what is holding you back. And with all the retrogrades that we're experiencing, it's not a coincidence It is a time to find answers by going inward. And as much as what I'm talking about does apply to the things that we see on the news and in our outer world, I believe that because the energy is specifically turning inward in a very rare fashion, you should also be turning inward as well. As above, so below. There is plenty of opportunity here for the taking if you are stepping up and you are doing the work and you're living in flow and living from the heart and mind coordination. And it could be in money and it could be in love. But again, these opportunities that I'm talking to you about right now and going forward all require you to be the catalyst. There's energy that's going to help you find unexpected answers and breakthroughs in relation to that creative energy that I spoke about. I see irritability because of Uranus, but it's in a good way and it can make you more likely to take a chance on something and have it work out for you. But again, you have to be responsible. And then there's this beautiful, harmonious, positive spiritual energy that is also available to you if you are walking your spiritual path. And there is luck through generosity from your part or by you expending energy doing something positive in some way, putting good energy out into the world, that can come back to you right now in a very positive way. There's also positivity that will come from you being positive. And it doesn't mean that you're denying what is happening in your life right now, but it simply means that you have faith in the future and you have a faith and a sense of optimism that whatever you are experiencing now does not have to be what you experience forever. The more that you're working on bettering yourself and working on your spirituality, the increased chances for breakthroughs you will have that will lead you to the answers that you need to move forward. The answers come from your intuition and your inner purpose and your heart and your spirituality right now more than anything logical, even though your logic is favored at this time. Because how the mind works is your heart makes a decision, backs the decision, is aligned with purpose, and your mind will help you make it happen. So that's why your logic is doing well with your subconscious, but with your heart, you're going to have to drop into that space in order to make things happen. And then your mind will act in accordance with that if they are going in the same direction. Expressing yourself through writing or speaking your truth could also lead to something very favorable for you at this time. There are also breakthroughs available in awareness, healing, spirituality, leaving behind old emotional baggage and more. And again, like I said, if you are trying to get pregnant, use this energy. There's also opportunities to learn and grow from the past and take responsibility for taking charge and creating the life that you want. That is precisely what I teach my clients. Learning to release old baggage, have breakthroughs in awareness, grab opportunities, learn and grow from the past, and take responsibility for taking charge and creating the life that you want. 
you have this opportunity available to you. Things can click and you can feel like you get a big supportive energy or like you're in the right place at the right time if you're taking aligned, inspired action. And so if you've been working on something that you feel deeply about, probably or maybe connected to your soul's purpose, a window of opportunity is available to you that others that are not doing that work or walking that path may not notice. You have access to parts of your mind that you maybe didn't feel like you had before, and this can lead to more vision, progress, and innovation. This is about being brave enough to think freely for yourself and to trust yourself and your heart and mind together and move forward with purpose, but again, only when the heart and the mind are aligned. There is clarity available to you and a sense of direction about what you need to do to move forward available to you. And you also have this ability to have the desire, the drive, and the ambition that you need to actually take action and move forward. But again, you have to do this work. You could be focused or you may feel focused and willing to take the lead on the things that you desire. This is also a time, and I'll leave it at this to not shy away from the spotlight, especially if you often hide yourself and your ideas when it comes to being in a group of other people. This is a time for you to shine your light and to be self-motivated and to act on the things that you feel and you desire. That concludes the new moon in Leo, August 2020 reading. Astrology is a powerful tool that can provide you with a blueprint that gives you an owner's manual for your life. So as you can see, by learning astrology and learning how you can apply it to your own personal snapshot of where the stars were in your life, which is called your natal chart, or the life of the people that you love, or events that are happening, such as this new moon that I just talked to you about, you're able to have information in your fingertips so that you don't have to second guess about who you are maybe why you are the way you are, your life purpose, your career, your most dear relationships, and more. It's all right there. The information you need to save time, decrease stress, and live a life that's on the right track. The doors to my intro to astrology class are still open, and I would love it if you would come and learn more about astrology in a fun and easy to understand way so you can learn the foundations of astrology and start to uncover the powerful benefits that I spoke of. The doors did open on August 10th, but we are still on week one, so you really haven't missed anything. And in fact, our very first live class is August the 19th at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, so you haven't even missed the first live class. So if you would like to learn more about astrology and how it can help you live a more powerful and stress-free life, Just hop in and join us. You will not be disappointed. The link will be in the show notes or you can go to yashikasintuition.com forward slash astrology in order to enroll in the class today. I will not be closing enrollment until at the end of the week. So that would be August the 22nd or so. So just come in and join us and catch up. And I'm always available for questions if you need anything. All right. Talk to you in the next show. Bye.